Today is kind of an easy, it's almost like a transit day. We're gonna have breakfast in Mitchell because there's a good diner there. And also get some gas. And then through Burns and down to French Glen. And that's gonna be set up for the next day where we have a ton of things to shoot. Our morning ride into Mitchell was an amazing way to start the day. The cool morning air, the flowing curves, and the good vibes were far more invigorating than the coffee we couldn't find in town. Geographically in the middle of Oregon, Mitchell is chronologically stuck in the 1970s. The cafe wasn't open on Tuesday, or most other days, and the only gas pump, which recently lost its well-known live bear, was closed for another hour. The phone booth, against all odds, worked perfectly. It has a dial tone. It works. Something we've had to relearn in this age of GPS is that the paper map, more specifically the detailed atlas, offers something that a screen can't. Context. On the screen, small roads disappear when you zoom out and you're left no wiser than when you started. But the atlas tipped us to a small dirt road that wound its way through a canyon. Just a small dotted line next to a smaller blue line is all we needed to enjoy 50 miles of gravel road through an empty canyon to our next stop. I've always found that running a little bit lower tire pressure makes the bike a lot more stable and loose stuff. Our shortcut left us with time to spare for an extra stop. After the siesta, we headed into town to refuel and get some dinner. The town of French Glen is barely a town, another gem with a single gas pump, a catch-all general store, and a hotel that also serves the only meal for hours around. We lucked into the last three seats at the communal tables. On our way back to camp, we took advantage of the low-angled light to shoot our dusty return trip in all its backlit glory. Just from the road to here? But you have five minutes of light. It was an impromptu moment where everything came together for some really great shots things wouldn't be so easy for us the following days. 